With concern over Biggie not being allowed to compete in the ring and more, this is Wrestling Rambles. My name is John, and you're watching the Wrestling Report. Speaking about how long he plans to continue wrestling, Seth Rollins said on the Impulsive Podcast, so in our industry, and there are some exceptions. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's kind of an exception, obviously, because he was sort of a part of the business his entire life because his family was in it, but his real run was only like four years. It was tiny. For the most part, historically, you need years and years of experience, thousands of matches. You've got to build equity with your audience, so I am at the point now where I'm 37, and so I've got probably like this maybe six six to ten year window depending on my health where I'm going to be in the sweet spot where like my body can still go but my brain is also finally caught up to where I am physically so like mentally and physically I haven't deteriorated I'm like in that perfect zone where I'm not quite what I was when I was your age athletically but I'm still pushing it and mentally I'm just I can read the room when we go out there it's like cake for me so I'm in that zone for like six to ten years depending on how my body holds up and then who knows then I'll turn into the undertaker and turn up once a year for for WrestleMania, but yeah, I'm feeling really good right now. I'm in a sweet spot. Recalling her debut in AEW, Soraya revealed that she wanted to start out her run there as a heel, telling Kenny McIntosh of Inside the Ropes, I wanted to be a heel straight out the gate, and they told me I had to be a babyface. When I walked out, the first time I walked out, and I was like, I understand, but I just flourish better as a heel. If I have to get comfortable, I'd rather be a heel first, because it's easy to get people to hate you than like you, and so that I can just get in my stride and not be so offended if people are talking sh about me, so I'm like, Hey, I'm just doing my job, you know what I mean? Revealing what it would take for him to sign another WWE Legends deal, Mick Foley said at the Mattel panel during San Diego Comic Con, I have actively wished for this and hoped for it. I even drew a line in the sand when it came to my Legends deal. I told my manager, I'm not re-signing another Legends deal unless I have a guarantee that they are doing some type of three faces of Foley thing. I guess I don't need to worry about that now. This is really great. Talking about his weight loss over the years, Gunter said this about it to Metro. Everybody knows how I looked before, so everybody knows I really like to eat before that. I had to make a cut to that. To limit food intake is a little bit tricky. I love to cook and I like food, but at the end of the day, I've got to give credit to Kaiser and Vinci because they've been in incredible shape already. I just jumped on board with them and they kicked my butt to pull through even when it's difficult. Like I said, it always comes back to the support system and that's from many areas in your life. To be fair, I've never had to sell it to anyone because when I signed with WWE, they just took me how I was. Since then, it hasn't really changed. Of course, the name has changed and I've dropped a few pounds, but besides from that, what I do in the ring or how I talk or anything, I feel like that has stayed pretty much the same. Mentioning why she uses sign language on AEW television, TBS champion Chris Statlander said on High Spot Sign It Live, There is not a story. I just thought it would be cool and different. I'm not fluent in it, but I do know some basic sentences and stuff. I just thought it would be something different, and you don't see it often. That's really all there is to it. I don't know anyone that is deaf. I didn't really have a reason to learn it. A framed picture was given to Bret Hart from Steve Austin, showcasing their WrestleMania match against one another, as a Twitter user wrote, a lovely gift from Stone Cold Steve Austin to Bret Hart. Signed, Bret, thank you for the match of a lifetime. This was the match that made Stone Cold. Also, attached to it is the Blade from the Night. Wrestlers are special. Touching on why James Ellsworth was a part of the main event in WWE, Road Dogg said on his Oh You Didn't Know podcast, and Ellsworth, I'll tell you whose idea a lot of this stuff was with Ellsworth, and that's Vince McMahon. Man, he saw it and he was right. When it comes to ratings, which is how you judge if somebody is right or not in the TV business, we did well with Ellsworth. Like it was Ellsworth and AJ, and Ellsworth and Dean Ambrose. What are we doing here? And it was like, no sir, no, we don't want to put him in the main event again. And he's like, God, you have to. And he was right. Every week it did better and 
better. It was like people just had to see what we were going to do here, you know? So yeah, I don't know. It was a good time. With Booker T previously going back and forth online with Ryback and the two talking about a fight, Booker gave an update on that situation, saying on his Hall of Fame podcast, I was listening to Ryback talk, and he said he wanted to get paid for the fight. So, you want somebody to set it up, it'll fight me, and it'll be Ryback versus WWE, and I represent WWE. I don't know why WWE came into this. This is supposed to be between Ryback and I. It's supposed to be hand in hand. It's supposed to be like back in the day. I'm talking about two gunslingers back to back. Ten paces bang bang i thought that was going to be something like that but now he's talking about he has to get paid and this that and whatnot On his Grilling JR podcast, Jim Ross gave a new update on his health, revealing he went to the ER. I had to go to the emergency room this morning because I was concerned that the redness in my wounded leg was moving, and I've been warned about that, that you don't want to let this thing get out of control. You see it moving past a certain spot on your leg, you need to go to the emergency room right away to have them look at it. I did, and they looked at it, and they did nothing. They didn't need anything. They said, you're fine. It's good that you're paying attention, but if it continues to move in a northern direction, you need to come back to see us. So, I did that this morning. That's just part of the maintenance of this sh I can tell you that right now. People say, when are you coming back to work? Well, I'd like to go back to work tonight. I'd like to go back to work next week, but I don't know when that's going to be. I've got to get past this thing, and I'm hoping that the two issues I have, I can protect my wound from infection in a pretty good way. I've got the medicines, the solvents, the covers, all that stuff. But man, what's killing me right now is the lower back thing. I've heard guys talk about sciatica in a not very positive way. It's really challenging. It's not good man so anyway i'm working on that couple things i can promise you that nobody in aew wants to go back to work more than me i miss being around the guys i miss helping these young kids i'm a good listener to them and for them i miss all that i'm an alpha personality and i like to be around other people and like to help others On his Something to Wrestle podcast, Bruce Pritchard revealed that there were plans for New Jack to face John Cena, saying there were definitely talks to New Jack. I don't think anybody wanted to touch him because of his reputation and unpredictability, but yes, it may have been during this time that he was actually discussed, but never to the point of, all right, who's going to go pitch that one to Vince? The reputation preceded itself. Pritchard added that even Paul Heyman, who worked with Jack for years in ECW, was not enthused at the idea of bringing in the controversial wrestler. Paul was like, okay, you may get your controversy, but it may not be the kind of controversy you really want to have. As he previously retired from in-ring competition, Matt Raywalt, formerly known as Aiden English in WWE, took to Twitter a couple days ago writing, It's official. I will be taking wrestling bookings again on a limited basis through the end of the year, including Von Villains matches, available to wrestle, meet and greet, commentary slash host, manage, mouthpiece, like and retweet. DramaKingMad at gmail.com. Where to first? It appears there is a contract status update for an AEW star, as Sean Ross App of Fightful noted that we've got some confirmation on a recently signed AEW talent. Zach Clayton revealed back in November that he'd signed a deal with AEW. We've been told that it is actually a full-time Tier 1 deal. Clayton was added to the AEW roster page fairly recently after not being on it the first several months of his deal. For a potential status update on Becky Lynch following SummerSlam, Sean Ross App of Fightful said, When asked about Becky Lynch taking time off after SummerSlam, we were told that wasn't the plan as of Money in the Bank weekend. With rumors of him departing AEW and WWE have interest in signing him, Roosh took to Twitter to write, Good thing I study English. I've had to read a lot lately. You will hear from me very soon. Just remember, nothing happens unless I say so. When it comes to what is next for Bad Bunny in WWE, Steve Carrier of Ringside News said that WWE has a lot of things in the pipeline. It turns out that Bad Bunny's return of the company is certainly a part of those plans. Stay tuned.
explaining why the new owners of WWE may be hesitant to have Big E wrestle again. Former writer for the company Vince Russo said on the Wrestling Outlaws, Vince McMahon doesn't own the company anymore. This is on Endeavor's dime. So if you've got a guy that broke his neck and now you put him back out there and God forbid something happens again, now you're going to get the press of, why did you put your guy out there? This ain't Vince making the call anymore, bro. This is a whole new set of eyes and a totally different boss with a totally different mindset looking at this. And this was your Pro Wrestling News Update. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later.